I know one of the episodes that we watched uh, together was, I think it was the second episode of Down East Dickering, and there was a guy called Crazy Cornell. Yeah. And you could barely understand a goddamn word he was saying. <laughs> And I, I don't know if he was on oxys or if it was just like that thick of a main accent, but he came outside and they're like, Crazy Cornell, what what do you got for sale? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a couple of snowmobile. It's like like he was some dopey friggin' uh, What's the name what's that dog's name? Who am oh, I thinking from of? The, from the Looney Tunes. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of sounds like that. Yeah. Deputy Dog Deputy, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Whatever the hell his name right. is. Droopy Dog is who we were thinking of. Ah. That's who it was. He was like an oxied up down east version of Droopy Dog. But uh, yeah, and then the, the kicker with uh, Crazy Cornell. Was the best. Yeah. On, na- on national <laughs> television. Yes. He steps out of his garage and he's holding a ferret. Which is great. Yeah. And then as they start to show shots of him, you notice that his fly is wide open. And they zoom in on it. They do, yeah. They literally just capture one whole frame is just the dude's fly down and his pecker's half hanging yeah. out. And he's and he's holding the ferret like right down by his waistline. Yeah. So you just see ferret and open fly and it's <laughs> like, like it's pretty clear that they interrupted him when they got there. Like he had something going on. The ferret had just come out of the fly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Somebody home? Hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. What's old Cornell been up to? Not much. See an old snowmobile down there. What's that? I don't know. It's an old John Deere Spitfire. I'm a snowmobile nut. Old school redneck hillbilly sleds. I love them. You can fix them up cheap and you can sell them fast. What are you trying to get out of that? 300. 300? It's in good shape. Did you look underneath it and everything else? When dickering, to get the price down, you got to make the other guy realize how little his item is worth. There's no windshield, the throttle's broke, caliper's missing. I don't care. You don't have to buy it. What's the best you do on it, cash money? Buck 50. I'll give you a buck 25. No, dollar 50. Rusty sled restorations offered me two for it. They've been after it too, rusty sled? Yeah. Yeah. 150 bucks. He needed some gas money to run see his mom. I know he can use the extra bucks too, and if I'm going to give it to somebody, I want to give it to somebody like Kenny. Oh, hey. Look at this stuff, Cardinal. I'll be right out. I, want to I don't know. Ugh. I like had a whole bucket of badges. Hubcaps and car your thing. Uh-huh. When that bucket come out of the shed and we got it out in the daylight, I knew I was sitting on a gold mine. What are we looking at here, Cornell? For both buckets, all of it. The badges, the hubcaps, and the hood ornaments. All stuff that I knew was 1910 to 1919. People are dying for that stuff now. 100 bucks. They're pretty stove up, it looks like. A lot of them are cracked, broke. The porcelain's broke on a lot of them. I'll throw you the 50 bucks for this. That's 200 for this and the sled. Deal? Yeah. All right. All right, so I'm going to send you payments, right? No, you're not. <laughs> Give me cash. <laughs> there you go, boss. I got...